Hey everyone, it's Chris here, and I'm bringing you a little video of uh, some Halo Reach anniversary uh, multiplayer. And um, I'm trying something a little bit different here. This isn't uh, this wasn't recorded from direct from gameplay at all. It's actually I'm re I'm actually recording this from the replays from the theater mode and I captured the footage from there so I wasn't being nearly like some any pressure at all when I'm playing and that's something I'm gonna consider doing when I'm gonna be playing any sort of Halo games in the future uh, because well there's no real pressure for me to do extremely well so I'm just gonna play and if I do well I'm just gonna record some cool footage for you guys unless I specifically want it live in which case um, in, in which case I'll be doing something different there but I'm bringing you this sort of gameplay right now to sort of, you know, we'll talk a little bit, uh, because I'm playing this this specifically as something of a, like a training mode for um, the uh, Halo 2 Anniversary the Master Chief Collection, because as of right now, this outside of Halo PC, uh, which is giving me issues right now updating, so I can't really play the online portion of that, this is the closest thing that I have right now to the original settings, uh, barring Halo 2. So this is a sort of way for me to sort of acclimatize myself to the environment of which I've been deprived so since I've been nearly impossible to find any sort of online uh, multiplayer match that even approaches the original setting. So that's it here. And this is kind of like an unfair one because, well, I did get into a match where there were about maybe uh, three guests on, uh, this game, on this game. So it was kind of a smash kind of a curb stomp but you know what a game's a game and I had some footage here that was going really nice so I decided to do it here I played headlong before this headlong team snipers and team snipers on headlong kicked my ass especially with the um, the no radar portion of it because there was such a vertical element to it that it made the difference so my feelings going back to this is that even like in the anniversary multiplayer here on Halo Reach you feel that sort of power that sort of semblance to the original multiplayer that just can't be felt in other Halo games. Now, I, I think Halo 4 is okay, I think Halo Reach is okay, but there's just a, this particular mode gives you a sense of energy, like the pistol here. I've got the pistol right here, and of course it's a three-shot kill variety. You get three shot, two shots to take down a shield. No, uh, three shots to the head, take down the shield, and of course you do the penetration damage, which kills in the three shots. And I found myself wielding that pistol again as just like the primary weapon because you felt that it was a viable sort of a viable sort of weapon. Now the question is, should that be so? Should you actually have this pistol, which technically speaking is a sidearm? Should you be wielding it as a primary weapon? And the answer is yes and no. Now it's something that has to be addressed when we're moving forward in the games, like if you're moving forward to Halo 5 and you, you want to have a sort of weapon there that fills in the sidearm role but still powerful enough for it to be rendered a, a usable weapon and the the magnum in Halo 4 I, th I think I, was, I don't even know the last time I used it as like a viable primary weapon was um, what five six shot kill to, to bring down the shield and kill your opponent so I don't know exactly how how viable it was for that but it was never a real option you really only picked the pistol when you really wanted to sort of uh, it was a last ditch situation I understand that's what 343 was going for but my thought on the matter is your weapon needs to be able to fulfill its own little niche so even though it's a sidearm you can still rely on it if you really want to go out there and push with it and of course a three-shot pistol was well kind of a good way to do it in a way I like reaches pistol almost as much as the, the the original Halo CE pistol because it's sort of yes it was a sidearm if you really wanted it but it could also fulfill the niche of a primary weapon like it was a short range sniper when I was doing the sniper matches I wanted to use it pretty much as the short range version of the original sniper rifle so that's a sort of balance that I think 343 needs to get if they really want to have the pistol remain in a sort of a spotlight for the rest of the game so it's getting that little balance that's the tough bit because you want to bridge the gap between a sidearm and a primary weapon without having it be the utility weapon which is what it was infamous for in the original Halo CE days so uh, having a nice powerful punch but like not too high of a fire rate not too big a range and all that so that it can't be used to outclass all the other weapons while still remaining it will still retaining its punching power I think that's the balance 
making it a good short range killer but not an all in one weapon and all that because even though I liked the pistol it was beastly I remember all the good multiplayer times with the original Halo CE pistol it just needs to sort of define its own particular place in the sandbox and that's why I think 343 really needs to do like and I've been using it like you can see in this footage here I just use it so often because it's just so second nature to me I've just played the original Halo games for so long it just feels a part of you so retain that sense all while not necessarily needing to to keep all other weapons like out of other people's hands because they should all fulfill their own roles as well so that sort of thing make me use the assault rifle make me use the the, the battle rifle the dmr should you choose to keep it but i assume you probably will or the shotguns and all that don't have me sticking to one particular sort of thing i like the power oh i love the power but i want to feel the power of every single weapon in your sandbox so my well my particular suggestion like if some unlikely chance that someone's watching this be creative but keep what works keep what's powerful also keep power-ups on the map you saw I picked up that overshield I did that multiple times there's map those sort of things map control all very important but take all those points to account and of course enjoy the Master Chief collection when it comes out I know that I will Oh, November can't come soon enough, my friends. Anyway, so this is a, in the end of the match here, and like I put in this one little sniper rifle kill, just so I got a nice diverse kill board right there, and of course we finish this map up. I think I actually get the last kill. So, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Enjoy your Halo. Enjoy your games, my friends. I'll see you in the next one. This is Actual, and I am signing out.